Good evening, everyone. This is Anne Marie. Today is Monday, March the 4th, and this is a look at SPY. Look at this. We've got upside momentum, a breakout back to the upside. Remember, I said this was a region that we would have to watch. Double top action. A hold above here means that we retest this area. There's R2. So what's the trade for tomorrow? What are we looking at? Well, interestingly, um, now I'm not quite sure if this is the actual pattern that we're in, so I'm going to hold out on that for just a minute. The main wave that we're still looking at is still this one right here, this wave that we've measured, and it is in retracement. So it is in a very solid retracement. And so from that perspective, um, this wave we really have to focus on. Let's take a look at, well, I'm doing this on the fly here. Hang on, let's pause this so I can get it set up. Go, I've drawn a Fibonacci on this particular wave, and we can see that today we breached 88.7. Now, there isn't really a very pretty formation sitting in here that we could say, oh, you know, that's a blah, blah, blah. Nothing really sitting around like that. And in the end, we could still be in a little bit of a jagged sideways motion. If we breach the high of today, there's no place else to go but up here. What else could we do? So look at that breakout level, 152.92. If you get a higher point, it's going to go at the very least into the top of this wick. And that's a lot of movement for SPY. You can make a lot of money on a 20 cent move. Okay, a lot of money. And then here's the high, here's resistance level two. And then if indeed we have some kind of wave extension where we're moving back up into uh, an expansion space, the levels we're going to have to watch, again, this one's from a long time ago, 153.69. Resistance level two is going to give it a little bit of trouble. Right? So that's what's going to happen from the upside. The breach of this level is going to bring it into this level as long as you make higher highs and higher lows or on the retrace you hold the breakout level or at least resistance level one from the prior day, you are going to see higher prices. That's just the way it's going to roll. Now, if indeed it pops and collapses, right here, at the very least. It could come into this area and actually collapse. The second it breaks this wick right here, you know you've got downside rotation. It's going to come in more than likely into these VWAPs and test them. Could come into the pivot very, very easily. One of the greatest trades you could possibly set up for yourself is the bounce off the pivot in an upside formation to go long and a bounce off a pivot in a downside formation to go short. And here it was right here at noon today, just totally began to accelerate to the upside, really holding on. So I suspect we've got upside momentum. Sequestration is not going to bother this market, not remotely. It's just, it just won't. So. That being said, uh, let's assume that we break down here. Where might we take this short? Okay, at the loss of 152.51, we are going to come in to the likely pivot. Excuse me, the likely uh, VWAP. This is the weekly VWAP. It's also a FIB level. It's going to pop down into here. You want to ride it lower, you're going to fall into all of this congestion. If you fall into this congestion, it could be extremely likely that you're going to hold the monthly VWAP, but that's another, you come into here, that's another 30 cents to the downside. Again, a lot of money with a dollar. Are SPY options like 50 cents now? I, I don't know what the increment is because I do not play SPY. I play the ES, the E-minis. 
but lots of people place pi and it does give us the same sort of relative motion okay so we're doing very very nicely for the upside if we lose this wick we've got downside action into here stair step it folks if you make lower lows and lower highs no need to get out when things get into a target space nothing wrong with taking a little bit of profit please don't trade your balance trade the formations if you find yourself trading your balance you've got the wrong size trade on or you're developing some extremely bad habits which I suggest you take a look at maybe both of those things if indeed that's the case alright good luck trading tomorrow if this does collapse below the monthly VWAP it will test this pivot alright take care